COVID-19 is a scary thing to have. When I heard the word positive, it's just like, how am I going to get through this? All my life, I never experienced having a running water or electric. I've been living here for about 28 years here on Ghost Brain Ranch. We live about 36 miles away from, from Tuba City. It's like 11 miles off of, uh, the main highway, 38 miles away from the um, hospital. That morning when, when I woke up, it felt like my whole head was just hurting and my, my body was just hurting. I couldn't get up. And then the next day I went to the hospital, I got the test and then the uh, doctor called me and told me that, that I was positive with uh, the COVID-19. That was my, my scary moment because you don't know if you're gonna live. I lost a couple of family members that went to the hospital and never came home. So I was, I was terrified. What if I went through what my uncles and some friends that were went through that lost their life to COVID-19? I need to live for my family, for my kids. I came back here. I isolated my, myself in a different room to, to make sure I don't pass it along to my family. The biggest hardship was not having a running water and electric. This is my wash pan. Um, I put water in here and I just, just put it right here on the, um, on the porch. They, they brought us a, a water heater, so that, that's, that's what we use. It's scary because you can't wash off the germs off your um, hands, your body, and you need to use water to sanitize your house. We haul water twice a week. Sometimes we're lucky to get water from, from the chapter house, but sometimes we have to drive all the way down to Tuba City just to get water. We're getting tired of hauling water. We're getting tired of using generator. We pay a lot just to keep the, the generator running. For a week, I think we spend like close to $200 and probably on the water, at least about $60 plus the, the fuel. I do arts and craft like beadwork. This was my only income before I got sick. I'm trying to teach my granddaughter here to, to learn how to bead. I like to live out when there's, where it's quiet. But yes, I wish I had electric. I wish I had running water. There's a whole lot of wishing that, that you can only you can have, but but you don't have. I was so lucky not to spread to my family. To this day, I thank the Lord that I'm here with them.